only 10 miles in, so only, what's that, 15k in. Still a long way to go. Good morning, welcome back to, Ryan's closing the door quietly so he doesn't interrupt the video. <laughs> welcome back to my channel, welcome back to uh, these videos. Um, today I am down in County Fermanagh in Northern Ireland with Ryan. Yeah. Say hello Ryan. We'll see, we'll see what one does. So I'm down in Fermanagh, um, right on the border with the Republic of Ireland for the Lakelander gravel grinder. So it's kind of one of the main and uh, apparently one of the best gravel events in Northern Ireland. I've actually never done it before. Um, it always clashes with the weekend of my daughter's birthday, um, which is why I've never, I've never done it. It was my daughter's birthday yesterday, so I was able to get up early and come down today to, um, to Fermanagh for the gravel grinder. There's three different lengths uh, and routes today. There is the, the Little Dog route, which is a 50 kilometer route with 1100 meters of elevation. There is the Mongrel, which is a 60 kilometer route with 1200 meters of elevation. And there is the Big Dog, which is 100 kilometer route with 2100 meters of elevation. Um, Part of me would like to try the big dog, but I'm reasonably new to gravel cycling, so I, uh, I'm not sure that I have it in me to do that. So myself and Ryan are doing the Mongol, which is the middle distance and middle elevation route. So yeah, it's, uh, like I say, it's 60 kilometers and 11, no, 1200 meters of, of elevation. So that, that's the plan for today. And um, as with my previous 10 the pot video and my bike packing videos, kind of my, some of my off-road stuff this year, and um, this video is sponsored by the guys at Fussel Bikes. And um, you'll be familiar with them now if you've watched my videos. So again, link to Fussel Bikes down below. So thank you to the guys at Fussel Bikes for once again lending me their, uh, you can see it behind me, the Fussel Causeway. Um, so uh, thank you to the guys at Fussel for that. The, uh, the weather today is looking significantly better than it was for 10 in the pot. It's to be dry and about, I think, sort of 16 degrees today maybe. Um, so uh, more like a summer's day than, uh, than an autumn day. But it is looking a bit, a bit cloudy, maybe a bit damp, but it, uh, but it should, be, should be all good. Right, gonna get, uh, head down to the registration point, get registered here, then come back and get the bikes out and get ready for the event to roll out about half 10. Simple as that. Um, well, if you did have one, yeah, yeah. I would probably yeah. take you up on it. Cool. Yeah, so this is because you've got so this on your belt. Oh, so there's so actually a variation on it? Yeah, so it's got you've an adjustable compression. And it is like, um, it's like a, it's like so a there's tubes in the tyres, right? It's not tubeless. Okay. So you just kind of, so just be, be aware of that. But it is all. I'm going to bring them. Okay. <clears throat> so I am riding today's ride on a uh, fossil causeway, and Ryan is riding it on a. Um, a hard, you were riding on a, a hardtail Vitus mountain bike, is that what it is? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we have just discovered that uh, Specialized are here um, and they have demo bikes. So Ryan is now riding today on a, <laughs> on, a, <laughs> on a Specialized Diverge, um, which is quite cool. So uh, so yeah, that'll be, that'll be a good crack. Hey. How's it going? All oh, very good, thank you. So that's your tracker there. Yeah. Black label wants to be facing away from your body. Okay. Either in the backpack or a jersey. Okay, Super. cool. Great, thank you. <laughs> um, this is like our top of the range, like Alan carbon spoke model. Um, so super strong. Thanks. Um, so one of the funny things about like YouTube and social media, as like hateful and horrible as a place as it can be at times, is sometimes you make random funny connections. So at 10, 10 in the pot, I had four or five people come up to me and say that they saw my video and the only reason they were doing 10 in the pot was because they saw my video. But then you like, you just make these other random connections. And this, this is Stephen. Stephen yeah. and I have never met until today. I um, but social media buddies, um, Stephen has a, a, like a print company, a design bike, what would you call it? Yeah, I guess personalized prints for bikes, mountain bikes, road bikes, gravel, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, the perfect so, gift for Christmas. Yes, a good Christmas gift. I have one of Stephen's prints in my office and I'll cue me inserting a clip of the print here. Um, so yeah, go to like bonk.cc, is it? Or bonk.cc? 
or bunk.online. I'll put so bunk.online, right? I'll put a link down below and go and get yourself a nice, or the bike lover in your life, go get them a nice print for Christmas. Good idea. Mongrel? Yes. Mongrel today? 60K. 60K. Today. Yeah. How are you feeling about it? Mm, ask me in a few hours. <laughs> yeah, we'll be all right. We'll be, be dead on. Be dead on. Right, I'm gonna go. Got registered, so I'm gonna go back up and get changed and get the bike ready. There's uh, definitely an interesting mix of bikes here today. A good mix of like hardtails um, and gravel bikes and some really nice gravel bikes. Um, like I say, Ryan is getting the land of a specialized diverge, which is an incredible gravel bike. There's a few Canyon Inflights, Canyon Grizzles, some Ribble gravel bikes, there's loads. Um, but I'm looking forward to riding this on the trusty Fussell Causeway. One of the things about a uh, gravel grinder is that it's you are kind of in the middle of nowhere here um, and there's not loads of phone signal and different things like that so one of the things that make you do um, and part of your entrance fee is hiring a little GPS tracker um, so that they can kind of see where everybody is at all times which is pretty cool um, so obviously by the time you watch this video you'll not be able to like dot watch and see where I am but I'm going to text the link to my wife so she can kind of keep an eye on uh, on progress throughout the day well, you're, you're going to have to explain to Hannah why you're going to buy one of these. Uh, that is a nice bike. I don't think that's going to happen. That is a very nice bike. I'm trying, to get, used, trying to get used to how to change gear. Um, another person who knows me from social media is David. Also, we have never met, yeah. um, but we're in a little WhatsApp group um, about gravel cycling in Northern Ireland, which I got added to recently, which is, uh, I've yet to go out with any of these guys. What, what ride are you doing today? Uh, the 100k, the big dog. Big dog? Yeah. Hopefully. More game than me. More game than me. Have you have you done it before? No. No? no. First time? Yeah. yeah. I'll maybe do the big dog next year. We'll see. Just do the mongrel for today. No. All right. All changed and ready to go. However, I think I may have made Hi, one slight mistake i'm wearing bright white socks and i'm pretty sure they're not going to be white by the time i've finished today's ride also i am uh my shoes are still bogging from tea in the pot three weeks ago and um, i haven't been able to get them cleaned properly um so they're still a bit muddy but yeah white socks are not going to be white by the time i'm done so yeah i was contemplating taking this camera with me but I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to stick with the DJI Osmo action and my Insta360 because I can't be bothered carrying this in my bag. So I'll put this camera away now. Put, I'll, again, I'll also probably fall off. So I'll put this camera away and switch to the <laughs> switch to the, the DJI Osmo. Okay, let's go.
Well, how's it specialised? Good. Better than a hard tail. Miles would have been a lot harder without it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cooked today already though. It is warm. Doing alright? Happy life. Absolutely. <laughs> Aye, it's wild warm. I'm regretting the gilet. <sighs> That was Belmore Hill. That was tight. I just kept going. Just gonna wait for Ryan to catch up here. Um, we're only 10 miles in, so only, what's that? 15k in? Still a long way to go. Whew. That was tough. Great, Didn't get off good. But here, if you were on the hard tail, that would have been a different story.
How do you feel? Oh, Tough enough, yeah. isn't it? Muscles are cramping, but I feel okay. Like better, better than I thought. So this, we're at the at the feed stop, which is where the 60k and the 100k split. So we've signed up to do the 60k, but we did say when we got to this point, we would decide if we would go on and maybe do the 100k. But I'm definitely not doing the 100k. I'm doing the 60k. I, uh, yeah, it's tough enough as it is. Um, so get the a refill of water, get some food, and then keep going on the rest of the 60k ride. Your uh, your lunar bike's a bit muddy there. Yeah, but hopefully it won't maintain it. <laughs> So far this is really good gravel event. I haven't actually done that many gravel events. I actually haven't done any gravel events. I've done a couple of off-road things, but not any gravel events. And up around kind of where I live, there's not that much gravel that's all connected up. So this is brilliant to actually have a full network and a full event, which is like 90% gravel. Really, really enjoying it. Um, definitely, this is definitely difficult. Some tight climbs. All right. Hi, Christina, how you going? Tremendous. Mate, you're loving the fact the mountain bike just glides up those climbs. Glides down. Ah, uh, I know you can spot the mountain bikers versus the roadies. Yeah. The mountain bikers are just like slamming down the hills. Um, but now I've just said a bad thing about our neck of the woods that this is way better than like Glenara, but you might disagree. Yes, this is grey dirt. We have brown dirt. Um, we have brown dirt. Yeah. Would you rather ride here or Glenara? Glenara. Glenara. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you can take me around Glenara sometime and I'll make a video about Glenara. Deal. 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 Um, right, let me get a banana and a bit of loaf in me. And uh, we, I think, have... I don't know, we're, we're about 30 miles or so, or 25 miles, so we have about 15 miles. So we have 12 miles to go, so... Um, so yeah, we're actually about two-thirds of the way through. Um, so yeah, spin back round. Enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. It's really good. Definitely tough going. Like anybody who's doing the 100k must be an absolute machine. It's so warm as well, it's like 90% humidity. <laughs> so we've had a ditch the Gilet, which I should have ditched a long time ago. But yeah, very warm.
nine miles to go. Nearly home. Well, thank you. You look in pain. Thanks very much. You look in pain. Well done. Get your medal. Well, well, you, get your medal. Well, you, get your oh, yes, you get yes. Your oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Hold it up. Well done. There well we are. Done. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a good. That's what a way to spend the morning. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I might take my laptop. That's a nice medal. Oh, you'll have to tell me how the wax performed. I can't get my leg up the bike. Oh. <laughs> so we did, like I say, the sixty K with all that climbing. The 100k route obviously was another 40 kilometers of riding and like another thousand meters of elevation. Um, so that's fairly substantial additional elevation gain and only another 40k. Um, but that being said, I think maybe next year I would try the 100k, but I would need to do some more kind of gravel and off-road trailing to be able to do it because I was cramping up today, even uh, just coming towards the end, uh, I was definitely starting to cramp up. So if I do the 100K next year, uh, I'll, I'll definitely need some training. Okay, burger had, and I just had a bottle of water. I didn't have a beer because I'm driving, but I did get a beer to take home. So I'll enjoy that later on this evening. Um, if you're looking for a good gravel event to do, not that I am the, th the authority on gravel events, but if you're looking for a good gravel event to do, definitely check out the Lakelander Gravel Grinder. Um, it's always kind of the start of October in County Fermanagh in Northern Ireland. So if you're based in Ireland, it's dead easy. And uh, even if you're kind of mainland UK, it's easy enough to get over in the boat and stuff. Well worth doing. Um, like I said, I did the 60k this year, might do the 100k next year. There's talk that they're going to do a 160k next year, which is just crazy. Um, but yeah, it's a brilliant event, well run, great fun. The weather today was class. It might have been a different story if it was wet, but good weather. So heading back to the van now, got about a two and a half hour drive home, and then I'm going to put my feet up. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like. 
leave me a comment down below. Leave me a comment, let me know, were you doing the gravel grinder today? Have you done it before? What other gravel events should I check out? Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.